What is up guys? Welcome to my channel. Francis Michelle here. If you're here for the first time, I have to say welcome. What is up? And if you're a returning subscriber, if you're returning a girlfriend, hey. So if you've already seen this look here on my channel because you peeped at my recent video, this is my makeup tutorial. Guys, when you have kids and you have people over taking care of your kids, you have to take advantage of that time and just keep rolling and posting. And y'all can probably say, friends, you can at least probably change your shirt, but you know what? No, I didn't want to. I don't want to go and change my shirt. So in today's video, guys, today I am going to be telling you how to put together a very inexpensive makeup kit for beginners. I get this asked a lot. For instance, I want to get into makeup. I want to get into doing my makeup. I don't know what I need. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to get. And I do not want to break the bank. So today's guys, I am pulled together a couple of items that I feel like you need in your makeup bag, but and they're all drugstore products. Eh, we're winning. <laughs> so guys, before we jump into this video, usual, don't forget to hit subscribe. Do not forget to turn on your notification bell. And don't forget to follow your girl on IG. It's francis 2 Michelle. That's where you'll find your girl. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay, guys. So we are going to talk about everything from my one of my favorite moisturizers at the moment all the way to lashes. Yes. If you are a beginner that you're trying to get to make to start makeup or you just kind of want to have like a nice makeup bag on the go very inexpensive then you've come to the right video so let's go ahead and get started guys i'm going to start off by talking to you guys about my favorite moisturizer at the moment and one that i feel like you need to have in your makeup bag moisturizer is key moisturizer is everything when it comes to um doing your face I feel like if you don't have a good skincare routine, like if you don't have good skin, your makeup is not going to look good regardless of how many products you put on your face. So I am going to tell you guys, this by far is one of my favorite moisturizers at the moment. This is the Pixi uh, Rose Ceramic Cream. It's an intense moisturizer, guys, but it is super lightweight. You can wear it under your makeup and you're not going to feel a thing. So a good moisturizer is always going to go in a good way. Um, a lot of people also like um, Avino. Avino has a very good one. But I feel like Pixi, um, it's like Pixi is like high-end products at a budget price. So I actually love a lot of Pixi products. Um, then after that, we're going to move on to primer. Um, Y'all know you guys need a good primer. My Holy Girl primer from the drugstore has to be the CoverGirl primer line. You can use any of this line, but my favorite one right now is uh, the Pore Minimizing. They also, I'm um, sorry, the Skin Soothing. They also have a Pore Minimizer and they also have a Color Correcting one. But I feel like this one, this one gets the job done all the time and it's just perfect, very inexpensive. Leave my face as, 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 smooth, as, as smooth as a baby's booty, just so you know. So when it comes to foundation, guys, this was the hardest part of all. I am a drugstore junkie. I love drugstore foundations. And I was just like, oh my God, I have to pick at least two to show you, to tell you that you really need these ones in your kit. And I actually came up with these two, guys. I came down to these two foundations right here. And I'm gonna tell you why I chose these two foundations. So the first one I chose was the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. So the reason why I chose this one is because this one is a full coverage foundation and at the same time is a long wear foundation. I've chosen it because it is a 24 hour foundation, it's, um, it's a long wear foundation, and at the same time it's a full coverage foundation. So for all these people like me that love a full coverage uh, foundation that is going to last all day, I feel like this one right takes it off the park when it comes to that category. So I love this one guys. This is one of my Holy Girl drugstore foundations and I just love the coverage on it and I love the fact that you're going to have a lot of variety of color guys. So the reason that's another reason I chose that you were able to find a good range, a good shade for you because they have like a lot. I think they have like 40 if I'm not mistaken, 40 or 42. And then the other one, it has to be the Maybelline Super Stay um this one is a super stay 24 hours as well is this one right here why i chose this one this is also a 24 hour foundation and it's not a full coverage 
it is another full coverage foundation i'm sorry i chose another full coverage foundation but i feel like this full coverage is more like a medium to full coverage it's very blendable and i love that your skin feels fresh and nice after it it is not like i didn't find it to be mattifying this one it is a mattifying foundation but this one i felt like it was like a fresh feel to the skin it reminds me a lot like the nars radiance um foundation it has that finish like it's going to give you full coverage. It's going to be there all day. But at the same time, it's not going to be a mattifying foundation. I feel like this is great if you don't like to look matte. If you have very dry skin, I feel like this foundation is really, 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 really good. And it's very inexpensive. And also, I chose it because it has a white, it has a lot of range of colors as well. So I feel like it's very easy for every skin type, every skin tone to choose their color. Now, when it comes to concealer, guys, I swear by my... Um, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I feel like it's super blendable. I feel like it's full coverage and it lasts all day. So I have found that this one right here, this is the e.l.f. 16 hour cameo concealer. It's been one of the best drugstore concealers I have found to date. This one is not only a full coverage concealer, but at the same time, it lasts for a very long time and it does not crease on me. Sometimes we overlook these brands. I feel like this concealer is bomb.com, guys. It has amazing coverage. It doesn't crease, and the blendability on it is super amazing. If you didn't catch my previous video where I use it, you should watch it, and you can see how well um, it blends. I actually have it on right now, and I love how it looks. Now, for setting powder, enough to set the face. Um, a lot of people swear by the Airspun Translucent Powder. It is a very good powder, but not until I found the Collab makeup brand that they sell at Sally's Beauty. I've been obsessed with this um, baking powder. I feel like it is super full coverage, and it actually helps um, to illuminate and brighten my under eyes. And I use it not only for baking and carving, but at the same time, I use it to set all my face. And I love, love, love that it doesn't have like that powdery, cakey feel. And as, so, and as well, it doesn't have flashback. So if you do like makeup on client and stuff like that, you definitely want a powder that is not going to give you flashback. So I feel like this is really, really good. I feel like the Airspun, you have to be very careful because you could get flashback off that loose powder. So this one is a little bit more expensive than the Airspun. This one ranges for $14.99, which is not bad. Um, you get a lot of products, and I feel like it's done an amazing, amazing job. This one I highly recommend putting in your makeup kit. So when it comes to blushes, highlights, and bronzers, guys, there is so many out there. Um, I'm not going to tell you that these are the best. I'm just going to tell you these are my pick. So for bronzer, I actually love, 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 which I don't have with me right now. But I actually love the, um, is the two. I have the Rimmel. I'm going to put it right up here so you guys can see it. The Rimmel um, Sun Bronzer. That one has always been one of my holy girls. And second, um, the Wet n Wild, the big one. That one right here has always been one of my holy girls. They are very inexpensive. They have a very nice undertone. And they're not like an orangey kind of feel of a bronzer. They're like to bronze up to warm up your skin. I love those. Now, when it comes to another one I also have, and I like using it, it's the ColourPop um, Blush. This one is, it's not a blush, but the, the, the thing says blush. But this one right here is one of the bronzers. ColourPop also has good bronzers, and they range for like five bucks for the whole entire pan. So you can actually look into them as well. When it comes to highlight, um, if you're into liquid glow, if you're like into liquid highlight, then I have to say the strobing liquid from Maybelline is one of my favorite ones. I like to mix this in with one of my foundations when I'm trying to do like that glowy um, extra look. I feel like this one is really good. It's really, really nice, guys. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to show you. Um, so the color that this one is is a little bit lighter. This is the deep. Actually, this is the deep golden. Look how beautiful that is, guys. Look, it's a gold shade. So this is the deepest one they have. This is a gold shade. Look how beautiful that is. You can even wear that by yourself. You can even use that as highlight by itself. Look how beautiful. Such a beautiful gold color. Or you can use it under your foundation and it's going to look bomb too. All right, so moving into eyes. If, oh, I'm sorry. And the other, if, if it's for highlighting pow powders, guys, I actually been loving for years this Pixi um, Duo highlighting uh, palette 
this is so pretty and they're super super pigmented i want to show you how pigmented it is look at that look at that look how beautiful that shade is guys let me see if i can do it here on my arm so you guys can actually see it look how beautiful they're super pigmented and very inexpensive. These are one of my favorite, favorite highlighters when it comes to the drugstore. Um, so when it comes to the eyes, guys, and if you're into like liquid, um, sh liquid shadow, I have to say that these are by far my favorite ones. These are from Pixi. These are called the liquid shadows. These are so cute. I actually have one of them on my eyes right now. I feel like they're super, super pigmented. I just want to see if I can put it right. Oh, look at that. Look how pigmented that is, guys. And then this one is a darker shade. They have a few of the shades. This is a beautiful shade as well. Look at that. You saw how rich, smooth, and buttery, and super pigmented this is, guys. This is super, super cute. I love these. This reminds me a lot about the Sigma, the Stila um, Liquid Shadows. This reminds me a lot about them, theirs. All right, so when it comes to shadow palettes, guys, I have to say that Makeup Revolution has a pretty dope shadows. They have a lot of different unique shadows. You have pinks, you have nudes, you have greens, you have yellows, you have all this. Then you have these bright colors. Like these are really, really, really good and very inexpensive. I think these are like five bucks. And I actually like them. I've tried both of them and I actually like them. That orange right there and that red, these three right here are as bright as you see them. They are really, 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 really good. They're worth every single penny. I think they're like five or six bucks to be honest. When it comes to mascara, guys, um, this mascara right here, it is bomb.com. It is one of my favorite mascaras. It's the Essence Cosmetics, the False Lashes Mascara. It definitely gives you that false lash type of look. Like, if that's what you're looking for, um, and you don't know how to apply lashes, and you want your lashes to stand out and look popping, this mascara is going to do that job for you. When it comes to liner, guys, I feel like you can never go wrong with the LA Girl um, liquid liner. That's one. And two, um, Maybelline's Tattoo. It's pretty dope as well. I don't have any with me, but I do recommend those two right off the bat. Eyes closed, best liquid liners out there. Um, so to, to close up, we're going to talk about, oh, I didn't talk about blush, guys. I'm sorry. One of my favorite blushes actually and bronzer is actually this line, the Butter Blush by Physicians Formula. They do have bomb um, blushes. Their colors are super unique, super rich, buttery, and at the same time, they are super, super, super inexpensive. But not only that, they're great at blending, and I love, love these blushes. Really, really good. And the bronzer from their line is actually pretty dope as well, so you should check that out. When it comes to lips, guys, um, honestly... Oh, I'm sorry, liquid liner. Um, when it comes to lipstick, guys, and lip liners, two brands that carry my favorite lip liners at the moment, it is going to be Flower Beauty and CoverGirl Exhibitionist. These two brands for liquid line for lip liquid for lip liners are bomb. I use these nonstop. If I when I wear my lip. Um, when I do lip liner, I'm either wearing uh, CoverGirl or Flower Beauty. They are super, super smooth, super buttery, and extremely pigmented. These are awesome, awesome. When it comes to liquid lipstick, guys, there is so many. I cannot tell you. I cannot say pick one, but one of my favorite ones has to be the CoverGirl. One of my favorites has to be uh, ColourPop. These two are, like, by far my favorite. I want to show you real quick. These are the ones I have from ColourPop. I have a whole bunch of ColourPop um, liquid lipsticks. I do have more in my purse, but these are my uh, ColourPop liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. And I feel like these are super good. By far one of the best in the drugstore market when it comes to, um, given the fact that they are long wear, they do not dry your lips, their color is super rich. You guys already know ColourPop. Um, liquid lipsticks are bomb.com. All right, guys, when you're finishing off the eyes, one of the best drugstore uh, lashes out there, I have to say, it is Ardell Lashes. Ardell has natural, glamorous, mink. They have a lot of lines of lashes, and this line is super, super good. And one of my favorite, favorite um, glue, lash glue, is has to be the Salon Perfect. It's called Get It Grip. It's super, super good, and I love it. 
So these are by far my favorite drugstore lashes. I wear them nonstop. I wear them all the time. I highly recommend. They're super easy to wear, to be honest. I'm going to try to make a IGTV video on how I apply my falsies. So yeah, guys, um, this is everything that I would put in a makeup kit for a beginner from the drugstore. You cover everything. You have pretty dope bomb makeup. You can create bomb looks and you can still look good. So anyways, guys, if you like this type of makeup one-on-one -on -one videos, let me know. I will do more for you guys. I love giving you guys what I have, what I've learned throughout the years. And I love actually doing videos that you guys are asking for. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And do not forget to hit subscribe. Yes, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on. <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, francis 2 sesmichelle as we find your girl. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Thank you so much for your love. Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.